now let's start today so uh, yesterday like uh, we talked about some virtualization concepts and it was just uh, introduction to our vmware so basically vmware it is a king of virtualization okay not even microsoft not even some other people so vmware actually came by this idea okay so <clears throat> now today vmware become one of the leader in market on virtualization concept okay so uh, before we start uh, you know uh, the main thing like how we are going to do our practical okay and how we can able to set up our lab okay so today i try to just uh, show you some kind of scenario and based on our scenario we try to implement our practical okay so basically like whenever if you want to do any practical so normally we use some simulators okay even for uh, you know uh we sphere also we are going to use some kind of simulator for doing our practical okay so anyhow when you talk about like uh, if you want to learn any networking concept the complete networking it actually depends on the network and when you talk about network you may require you may require some group of devices okay so first of all uh, when you want to make your network you require a switch so this is our switch there we connect all our uh, devices so the first device compulsory we require before you install esxi before you install v sensor before you uh, you know uh, install uh, different different things so first thing is what you need on the network you require a domain controller okay so if you want to understand your virtualization compulsory you should have idea about windows that means at least you should have idea what is ad how accuracy works and how uh, the accuracy is going to play a key role in a network why because there is nothing without accuracy okay but uh, believe me like uh, vmware admin we don't have any task on accuracy but accuracy it's like one of the necessary things we need to be uh, we need to make sure like it should be on network so without active directory there is nothing so you cannot have anything without active directory so the first thing is you need to have ad okay so in our lab also we are going to install ad but we are not going anything here okay just we need to keep inside okay just install and leave it like this okay or because everything we are going to see in our uh, esxi everything we are going to see in our v center so for the practical purpose we will be try to install three esxi so the first esxi that is our hypervisor and we try to see ip address configuration also so we try to install one more esxi so at least we require three esxi so that we can do some of the practical okay one is not enough based on one there is no uh, virtualization concept one uh, you know you cannot do high availability you cannot go with uh, v motion drs hk you cannot do anything in one es okay so at least you require minimum two now if you have three that will be very good so esxi three so in our scenario we'll be having three esxi server and to manage this esxi we'll be using some uh, application that is uh, installing on dedicated server that server we going to uh, represent as a v center server okay and step by step we are doing this okay so first we are going to install active directory then after that we are going to see how we can able to install esxi and what is the requirement for installing esxi and uh, we are going to see how to configure esxi server and later on we are going to see how we are going to install v center and what is the purpose of configuring v center and what is the prerequisite for v center application okay so that means suppose if you have four or uh, five physical machine so that means you can do all your practical on a physical device this is the best practice okay but normally when you say like physical it's not possible to go market and purchase all the five devices and uh, set up your lab okay so it is like highly impossible even for me also i'm not showing all the practical in five physical devices okay so what actually we do now we are going to set up all this practical in one computer okay with the help of a simulator 
with the help of one application the name of the application either if you suppose if you are using oracle then you can use your uh, you know virtual box or for in my case i'll be using a vmware workstation okay that means i have a machine on the top of computer i install windows operating system on the top of windows i already install my vmware workstation in vmware workstation i'm going to make one virtual machine as a dc i'm going to make one more virtual machine as a esxi one more esxi one more and one more virtual machine as a vcenter then we are going to configure all these setup virtually okay these labs we call as nested lab okay now let me know like if you have any question here yes everything we are configuring in one okay but in a uh, but when you talk about real purpose in real purpose everything on physical when you when you say like esxi esxi is a physical server okay but see for uh, it's not uh, even nobody uh, uh, you know it's not possible for anybody to have uh, you know uh, three physical esxi one v center one dc then show the practice okay see uh, even we try to see uh, ip addressing also so what i have done okay, so i will show you no problem So I connected to my physical main server. On the top of this, uh, we already have VMA workstation. So this is a simulator, you can say, like uh, like if you are doing practical for uh, CCNA, CCNP, we use simulator like DNS, or you can use like packet system. So this is for doing some test lab. Similarly, for like if you do uh, if you are doing uh, MCC practical. if you want to do practical for linux if you want to do practical for uh, exchange server or vmware so this application we actually use okay so where you implement where uh, we can able to make our own scenario and we can able to do all the practical okay so we just power on see i have not done anything okay why because uh, uh if i uh, if i show from the beginning for you people also it helps you to make virtual machine then how we can do practical we can do that okay so this is actual scenario we need to make dc then we are going to configure multiple esx client then we are going to make one v center okay so i just close this this was my previous class okay so once you install your vmware workstation you know uh, anybody work on vmware workstation it's very simple or i, I have to show this So just open the workstation, and here we are going to make first virtual machine. So that virtual machine we are making as our domain controller. That means we are talking about the Windows server. Okay, we are not making ESXi. 
So we just create a new virtual machine and we go with the typical next. Yeah, <clears throat> see, basically like if you want to install workstation, so you can first download. Uh, uh, you have to open your Firefox, uh, Google, and here just write VMware workstation, okay? So when you press enter, you get a link from the DM web. So right now the latest version of DM web, we have 16 Pro, okay? But I already installed before one year, so I was using 15. So here we have 16, this is it's a letter, okay? So here it will try to ask you like, you want to use for Windows or for Linux, okay? So when I say, okay, I want to download this uh, workstation, so here it will ask you like you need for the Windows purpose or for the Linux purpose. Means in which operating system you are installing. Okay. So right now the operating system we have this is our uh, Windows operating system. On the top of Windows, if you are installing, then that means you have to download this. Okay. So just click Windows. Uh, okay. You get a file here. You see, almost like 600, uh, 600 MB. So just download this file and double click and try to install, like the way you install MS Office and the way you install any application in Windows, it's very simple. Just double click and say next, 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 finish. That is how we can install a VMware application. Okay, it's very simple. I already have, I'm not downloading. Okay. So once you install that application, then the next step, what we need to do? you get a uh, icon on your desktop. You also get icons on your start menu. You know, when you go to start menu, so here also you get an icon, okay? So VMware Workstation Pro. So sometimes you have, uh, you know, VMware Workstation, uh, uh, let me show the version. So see, so the version which I'm using, this is 15 Pro. But right now, today, uh, the new version we have 16 Pro. So either you can go old or new, nothing is, uh, you know, why? Because we are not learning about workstation, just we are using this uh, workstation to set up our practical. Okay. So here you have to click, you know, when you install, only you get home, nothing. Like here you can see, for me, I have many things. Why? Because I'm already using Windows. I'm already using, uh, uh, you know, I have many classes uh, day by day. So I have many things here. So forget all these things. So once you install new, you never get anything like this. You just have only home and this option will be empty. So here you have to click uh, create a new virtual machine. And one more thing, like whenever you try to uh, uh, install Windows Server, whenever you want to install any, you know, ESXi, if you want to install a uh, vCenter, that means like whenever if you want to install anything, you require ISO images, okay? So if you are doing this practical, suppose in your uh, home machine, if you are doing a practical, from your side, okay? Suppose you are not connected to my uh, server for practice. Suppose if you want to do everything from your own, so what you need to do, you have to download the images, okay? So how we can download? Again, it's very simple part. Just open your browser. Suppose if you need 2016 for, uh, you know, uh, if, you, uh, if you want to uh, download main, uh, you know, if you want to download 2016 or if you want to download any server, so, Always you can go to Google Doctor. And here you can write Windows Server 2016. And here we can say download. It's very simple. So once you click download, so directly it will give you the link. Or you can even go direct Microsoft website, you can even download. But if you go with Google link, what it will do? It will try to give you the actual page. If you open direct Microsoft page, you will not see the direct screen like this, okay? So here is asking like, uh, you want to download 2019, you want to download 2016, you want to download even, uh, there was like, uh, we also have 2012 also. So, but in our case, what we, uh, what we are using, we are using a 2016 server. 
so here you have to select iso image then and see we are downloading this server to install active directory to make one of the separate machine as a domain controller and the same operating system we also use for our v center okay that is the reason we are downloading this 2016 otherwise okay we don't require that okay so you can say continue then it will ask you to give all your credential so i have already given but uh So I'm in India. Then continue. Then it will ask you like in which uh, language you want. So just go with the English. So once you click download, so here again see the operating system image is almost 6.5 GB. You have to download. Okay, keep in your computer. Okay, so that with this image we are going to install a uh, Windows Server. in that windows server we are going to install a uh, vcenter or we are going to install active directory so for two reason will be installing the server download this now apart from that we also require esxi so same thing for esxi we can go uh, vmware why because uh, esxi is nothing but esxi is a hypervisor for downloading hypervisor you just go vmware website if you want you can go direct here you can go download vcia so the reason like why i'm showing all this thing so that you know uh, if you don't have anything you can even by seeing this video you can even uh, you know download in your own machine and you can keep it okay so which version you want let's say we are uh, we are looking for like 6.7 and here it will show you like what type of uh, uh, you know we you need like here we have uh, licensing here essential essential plus we also have standard we also have in enterprise enterprise plus plan uh, you know platinum okay so you can go with the basic one okay so what do you need see here you need hypervisor or you need hype uh, v center so first download hypervisor then you can go with the v center okay so when you go uh, hypervisor so hypervisor is only about in terms of you know 300 mb but when you go with a uh, v center i go back so when you go with a v center go download so it's all about 300 you know uh, uh, we have almost 2 gb plus 2 gb now this is not this is a v center application okay so v center for windows so almost like 2.13 gb so all these images i have already downloaded and these images i already have in my server so if you connect to my server and if you want to prepare your lab so what you can do no need to download anything i already have all the uh, you know i can say i have all the um, images so if you open my d partition so one of the partition i have d so in d partition you can see all the images okay so you can see one of the image uh, let me show you this is my 2016 server so with the help of this image will be installing our server that is our uh, windows server and i have a separate folder here 6.7 6.5 so previously you know i used to take class for 6.5 but uh, somewhat outdated 6.7 here i have two main file one of the file vm wiser and this is almost 300 mb one of the file we have for v center application v center is almost more than 2 gb and this is workstation workstation is a software that uh, in install and you can uh, prepare your lab okay, so i delete this i don't need this otherwise there will be a confusion okay so most of the time we need this so that means at least we require we need to download these three images one image for the esxi hypervisor one image for the vmware v center and one of the image for the windows server operating system okay now let's continue so we are going to install for server to install the windows server 
we just open the workstation and here we can say create virtual machine okay so we go with the typical only no problem see the meaning of typical and custom custom you can create from your own like how much configuration you need how much processor you need and how many cores you need okay according to you so we go with the typical here next and here select is asking like okay what do you want to install you want to install the esxi or you want to install windows server you want to install what okay so we go broad so wherever you have downloaded you just go to that partition and select the image so we are first installing our windows server okay so i have selected here 2016 operating system so here even it say okay selected windows server 2016 detected so i just go next and here see what way you want you can go okay so when you are installing windows server so for you it may be showing you like data center is standard but here something is showing like core core okay so don't select core why because core is nothing but it's a command line okay so in windows either you can use uh, command line or you can use graphical so try to select normal one you can go with the data center uh, standard no problem whatever you want you can select okay so i go with the default administrator and password so this password i'll be using to log on to the server to perform my task to install ad to for, you know configure uh, this will be my domain administrator next and the name i'll write here this is my dc for my understanding 9 pm so every time i put certain name so that i understand uh, according to my requirement and the most important thing here is saying like uh, whenever you try to create a virtual machine by default it is going to save the file in c drive document folder you know uh, you know when you open your c see this is our operating system inside the operating system we have a folder here document in document by default it is going to store here but don't keep everything on the c drive Okay. Why? Because C basically we use for our operating system. Don't uh, keep anything. Why? Because if something happens to your C, then it is going to uh, you know delete everything. Okay. So what I have done? So you know the server where I'm sitting. So this server I have specially uh, connected one 4 TB hard disk. Okay. This is for my lab purpose. So on this 4 TB hard disk will be installing. Okay. That means here what I have done. i created some folder like vmware practice in that vmware practice you know according to my requirement you know i created certain folder and you know i try to uh, you know like say here you i have already created like dc ev have you know all the esx i also have v center so these are the files okay so that means once i have done all my practical what i can do i can delete this like okay that means now i don't have anything now okay so like this you can do that so here i can browse and i'll go to that location where it is i have 4 tb that is my rack info name and in that i have a vmware practice folder and i have i'm going to make separate folder here so vmware 9 pm and in that i'm going to make a sub folder this is my dc means my windows domain controller okay next okay how much hard disk you need why because when uh, when you install a virtual machine that virtual machine one partition create that is c so how much size you want for that partition you can give so by default it's 60 gb okay no problem why because we are just uh, installing we are not doing anything on that particular server so 60 is more enough and by default it take 2 gb ram no problem why because uh, we are just installing ad on that just go finish and now it is going to install that windows server so here only i'll write my lab <coughs> not that We require a switch. So the fourth virtual machine we create our domain controller. 
here uh, will be installing 2016 okay then now let's see how we are going to install esxi and to install esxi what is the requirement what we need to remember what the prerequisites okay so maybe after some classes we are going to see the concept for the v center so v center we don't have right now why because v center concept comes after some time okay so till now what we have done just we install only operating system but on the top of these operating system we are going to install active directory okay and when you say network that means you have to design your scenario what kind of ip you want okay so when you talk about ip address ip you may use class a ip you can use class b or ip you can use class c any of the class you can use it okay but normally uh, all my sessions i'll be using class c ip okay why because we have a small uh, um, you know just only few machines i'll be using class c you can even go with class a you can use class b also no problem okay so regarding ip address uh, for the domain controller i'll be giving ip address 192168 So 57 dot. So here I'll be using IP address. Uh, let's say 60. This is my network. What is my network? So 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot zero. This is my subnet mask which I'm using the default. And where the machine where you install Active Directory, you need to configure DNS. Okay, so DNS also plays very very important role. So DNS, what we need to do? One ninety two one sixty eight fifty seven dot sixty. This is our IP address. So this thing you we have done in our uh, MCC part. Okay. So for VMware MCC knowledge is must. Okay. Now the next time. after the installation of ad we have to keep in sight we don't have anything here we are not uh, we are not talking about any uh, user account we are not talking about sharing we are not doing anything here okay so we need to keep in sight now apart from that now when you are installing esxi for the virtual machine so first esxi will be installing so that esxi i am going to assign one ip address the ip address i'll be using 57.61 192.168.57.61 for the next esxi so esxi 2 for the esxi 2 i'll be giving ip address 57.62 for the third esxi i'll be giving ip address Yes, it's time. Three, and here I'll be giving IP address one nine two one six eight fifty seven dot sixty three. Later on, when we talk about P center, in that time we try to give IP address fifty seven dot maybe let's say sixty one. So I'm going to say for our letter reason. See, this is our IP addressing scenario. What actually we are going to do? So we are going to configure accurately here, which is called our domain controller. Then we are going to have PSXI V center. This is how we can able to set up our practical. So for the letter reason, I'm going to save this file. VM. Uh, VM lab. So next time we can see that. No. So almost sixty percent has done. So till then, uh, let's try to prepare our ESXi. So first ESXi, I'm going to install.
So before we install ESX5, I'll try to show you the requirements. What is the the basic requirement, or you know, the machine where you want to install ESX5? What is the prerequisite? Means what as an administrator you have to check. Okay. So <clears throat> basically, ESX5 means nothing but we you have a physical server. Where you have dedicated RAM, you have dedicated processor. Where you have dedicated motherboard, that is a real device server. Okay. So the first condition where you are going to install ESX sign, okay, it should be 64-bit processor. Why? Because ESX sign is a uh, you know uh, it's like operating system only. So it should be installed only on a platform where motherboard and processor has to be 64 bit. Okay. And the next condition is you require two CPU, two uh, two CPU means as a unit two socket, two socket, one core. Or <clears throat> one socket, two core. So, what do you understand, my friend? Do you know what is socket? What is core? What's the difference between socket and core? That's correct. See, uh, when you talk about socket, see this is your motherboard. On the motherboard, you will see you have a separate option for RAM. These are the RAM socket. You also have separate uh, option for where you can connect your VDA, uh, you know, the graphic card. Okay. That is called CCI slot, and you also have some graphic uh, slots. Okay, but in the middle or somewhere on the right side, you also see there is a, uh, you know, on, uh, we have some kind of fan thing. Okay, but below that, uh, we actually have some processor. I Means there is a place where you can keep your processor. Okay, so this place we actually represent as a socket. Socket is a place where you are going to connect your processor. Okay. So normally, like uh, when you purchase any personal machine, either you can have one processor. You can see normally we have only one processor on motherboard. Let's say if you are using a laptop, basically we have only one processor. If you are using any desktop, uh, we have that as one processor on motherboard. But when you talk about a dedicated server, so server means maybe you have one processor at least. Server also have two processors. Means there are two sockets. Here I have one processor. Here also I can have one more processor. Server can have even four processor. Server can have six processor. Okay, that means the number of processor you are increasing. Now it is going to increase even amount. Okay, obviously uh, you know the price also increase. Okay, so the thing which I want to explain here, uh, you know the machine where you want to install uh, ESXi. So either you can install ESXi where you can have two socket for the processor or even one socket. But if you have two socket, that means the two socket at least one core has to be support. If you are having one socket, means suppose this is your, uh, you know, I just have only one socket means one processor. But that processor at least minimum it is going to support two logical cores. Okay. And how to know like how many cores your device supporting? Okay, and how to uh, you know how we can take like how much uh, um, how many cores your uh, your machine is actually supporting? The first thing, see, I directly I show you. Like how to know 
how to know like how many cores you have in your server So the main thing you can open device manager. Okay, it's very simple. Just go to your device manager and see I have a processor option here. So the processor which I'm using, it's logical supported 16 core. Okay, and when you say server means there is a Xeon processor. The speed of this processor is almost 2.7 gigahertz. Okay, so normally, like uh, whenever you say like E5, E7, or E3, don't see only the number. Even try to see the speed. If the speed is like one giga something, 1.8 or two point, maybe like 2.0, 2.4. Don't buy that server. Okay, in nowadays, okay, that server will be very slow. Okay, try to purchase server which is more than this. Even this server is also slow. Okay, so if you have a speed of server like three gigahertz, then that will be very good. Okay. So this server supports sixteen cores. That means I have sixteen logical cores. I even I show you one more device which I have here. See, suppose this is my laptop. How many cores my laptop supporting? So for my laptop also I can show you D E V N G N C R N S C. So this is my i five laptop. And total, it is supporting four cores, four core laptops. So this is my i5 fourth generation CPU, and the speed of my laptop is almost 2.6 gigahertz. Okay. We were talking about the requirement. So the first requirement is the processor has to be 64 bit, and two socket one core and one socket two core. Okay. Now the second very very important requirement. At least you require minimum. Uh, okay, let's try four CPU. But normally, like uh, you know, the machine where you install ESX five on a physical device, you never have four GB. Four GB we never use for the virtualization. But only for installing ESX five, the condition is four GB minimum, at least. But normally, uh, suppose this is my physical server, or uh, where I can have maybe like one twenty eight GB RAM. I can have two fifty uh, two. Uh, Uh, you know, I can say like 240 GB RAM. I can have 512 MB RAM. I can have you know more than that. Okay, it may be like one terabyte or maybe two terabyte, maybe five terabyte. Okay, depends on the requirement. Okay, so that means based on RAM, like the number of RAM you have, we can able to make that many virtual machines. Okay, so processor okay. Apart from processor, the next very very important requirement for your device is RAM. Okay. So, how much RAM you have? You can have that many virtual machines. Okay. So, at least we require minimum 4 GB of RAM. Okay. Now, the next, when you talk about hard disk, okay, hard disk for uh, you know when you install hard disk means 40 GB is enough for installing ESX file. This is for only installing this ESX file. But you know after the installation, when you try to make virtual machine. so the files of virtual machine we are not going to keep in, internally on the server you know we are not going to use the local storage okay so coming session even we are going to see a storage that is our san okay how to configure storage how we are going to configure our shared network so that we are going to uh, you know uh, whenever you try to make a virtual machine the files of virtual machine we are going to keep inside the shared storage or we can say on the network storage so that Even though if something happened to the hardware, means if the complete server failed, so this virtual machine I can able to run on the different server. Okay, so in that case, we are going to use some dedicated network for your VCR. That is we call SAN. Okay, only for the installation purpose, just I need only 40 GB. Okay, the next requirement, you know, the server where you are installing ESX file, 
निकाट द स्पीड ऑफ निकाट एटलीस्ट वन जी बी वन जी बी पी एस ठीक है बट देर आर समर्व इट ऑल्सो सपोर्ट टेन जी बी ठीक है तो वन जी बी मिनिमम मैक्सिमम यू कैन हैव टेन जी बी टेन जी बी ठीक है दर इज योर निकाट एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग Interweaving enable. So previously, one of the problem you know we used to face. Suppose I just install ESX sign on the top of that when you, when I may when I uh, try to install the virtual machine when I want to do any virtualization part. So on the motherboard I have to enable this Intel VT. Means if you are using a processor from Intel, okay. So that means you have to enable you have to go BIOS that are more. on bios you have to enable this feature like okay? sometime you know by default is not enabled but today whatever the servers are coming in a market by default the technology is enabled but sometime if it is not enabled you have to go bios then you have to enable that instead of intel suppose if you have amd processor okay for amd we have rvi see for intel we have vt virtualization technology for amd we have something called rvi rapid virtualized uh, you know uh, virtualization indexing that is uh, actually we call okay so you have to go bios then you have to go the processor setting in processor setting you have to enable this feature then only you can able to configure the virtual machine okay so as a for you like the installation either you can you know directly you connect your bootable pen drive you can insert the cd then you can install like the way you install Uh, operating system, the same we can able to install the ESX client. Okay, so that means on the physical, uh, we are we are going to install direct ESX client. That is your, uh, uh, we can say, uh, you know, the type one hypervisor. It's not type two. It's the type one we install direct. We also have something called embedded. Means uh, when you purchase some IHP, IBM, Dell, okay, so from company itself you will be getting. the default uh, uh, you know uh, uh, you know esx i install okay let let's say, suppose if you purchase hp c7 uh, you know 7000 when you talk about blade server okay in that maybe you can have default also okay or you can have custom image okay so this thing we need to remember before you install esx i okay so once you have uh, finished that so i just make one virtual machine here and for that virtual machine i'm going to select typical and here i'm going to select the image of esx i that is uh, see when you are installing esx i don't select vm on here you need to remember just select vm visor means we are talking about a hypervisor so vmware esx i 6.x detected means this is x means it may be any number maybe 6.5 or 6.0 or it may be 6.7 So the next thing is asking the name, whatever the name you want, you can put it. That is for our understanding. And he is asking like, you know, why? Because we are using for the test purpose. We are installing in our workstation. So he is asking like, where you want to keep this file? I go browse. And uh, one more time, I'll go to the location. Rack info, same. I have VMA practice, uh, VMA 9 PM. I have already created one folder by DC. Let's I create one folder here. This is for my fourth ESX client. So ESX I one. Then next, okay. So here I'll put my name. So my fourth ESX client. Next, and 40 GB is enough. And here you can see by default it is taking 40 GB for the hard disk. Memory by default is taking 4 GB. But suppose if you have very good server, instead of 4 uh, GB you can have 8 GB. You can go customer higher level, and instead of 4 GB you can have 8 GB. That is based on your condition. But normally if you are doing practical, don't go 8 GB. For practice purpose, for every SSI minimum 4 GB is enough. Why? Because I have a lot of configuration here. I'll be using ATB. Finish.
Okay. Suppose imagine I connected pen drive and I'm sitting on a physical machine. So like uh, if you're installing Windows, what it will do? It will give you a screen like loading booting file. Then it is going to copy some of the files. The same thing for ESXi. It is saying loading ESXi install. Okay. Like if you install Linux, the same. It's like a Linux brand. So welcome to VMware ESXi 6.7 installation. So here it is showing like what we are going to do. So we'll be installing 6.7, and before you install on any device. So first of all, like if you want to know whether your device is going to support this uh, uh, vSphere ESXi, then what we can do, you can go to this uh, link and check your compatibility with your resources. Okay. So each and every processor is it is not going to support 6.7. You know, if you have any old server and if you try to install in that server uh, ESXi, so that version may not support. Okay, so you have to go the compatibility part, and on the compatibility, you have to go to this resources, then check it whether the processor and motherboard it is going to support or not. Okay, so there are some server. You know, uh, we try to install 5.0. Uh, you know, five dot something. So on the top of that, then I try to install six dot seven. So for me, uh, it was giving some error. Like now, it is not going to be support. Okay. So now the computer saying like, first it's welcoming you. Apart from that, it is saying like, what do you want? You want to continue? You can enter. You can cancel. Then you can press yes. So for me, I just want to continue here. I press enter. Then this is your license agreement. Okay, so you have you have to read all the license. Okay, so best is just press uh, F11 to accept and continue. See by reading you can uh, you know uh, you can able to do all the parts. Okay, so installation is very simple part. And as I told you like uh, you know when when I create a virtual machine for my VMware ESXi, in that time what I have done I have given 40 GB space for the hard disk. Okay, that means suppose this is my physical server. And on the physical server, suppose I have suppose two terabyte of hard disk. Okay, directly so when you install ESXi, so complete two terabyte it is going to be uh, allocated for ESXi. Okay, suppose one more example I'll give you. I have two terabyte hard disk, and here suppose I created two three partition, one terabyte, five hundred, five hundred. Okay, but if you are installing ESXi. So ESXi will not take all three partition one by one. So what it will do? So when you try to install ESXi, you have to give complete hard disk. Okay. So whatever partitions are created, it is going to delete all the partition and it is going to make only one big partition. So means complete hard disk they are going to use only for the installation of ESXi. So make sure the server where you are installing, if you have multiple 
try to take a backup of your data. Why? Because it is going to format all the partition, and it will make one partition, and in that partition, it is going to keep all the uh, you know uh, ESXi files. So for me, I just have uh, 40 GB. I press enter. Then the next option is asking for your uh, keyboard layout. So we are using the default like US keyboard layout. And the most important thing, we need to have a password. Okay. So if you install Windows operating system, in Windows, one of the user we call it as administrator. You know, see normally like when you use Windows operating system, one of the person we call administrator, he's the owner of a computer. Why? Because uh, VMware ESXi is a Linux based. You know, it's not a Windows based. You know, uh, it's a Linux based of a uh, platform. So here it is asking like root password. What is root? So in Linux, the person we call as root. Root means it's like an administrator. Okay, that means after the installation of ESXi. Now the person who is going to use that person we call it as root, and here we have to give a password, and password is uh, you know com uh, complex. I mean the password should uh, you know meet the complexity. Complexity means you cannot give any password whatsoever you like. So the condition for the password is minimum you require eight characters. And a character should be complex. Means you you have uh, small letters, numbers, uh, uh, symbols, as well as you know uh, uppercase letters. I Means alphanumeric password. So I'll be giving a password here. Enter. Then the last option is asking F11 to install the ESXi. Like this, you need to install. So it take at least five minutes here. Then your uh, ESXi will be ready. Then you can just uh, try to configure and start using ESXi. Till then, we go to our DC. See, once you install Windows Server, you get a screen like this. Okay. So, what is the requirement here? So, whenever you install, uh, you know, Windows operating system, the first thing try to provide a name. So, by default, name we have like this. So, I just put a name here. So, DC one, I'll put it, and I'll OK and restart. So we'll go according to our last scenario. But you know what we have done? So we make one domain controller. Sorry, just we install server. But here we are going to install ActiveX, and we install just one ESX file. Okay, so. I'm going to install one more ESXi, one more ESXi, then later point we can have one more we can have. Okay, now on the top of uh, you know Windows Server, we try to give this IP address 191.168.57.60, then subnet mode, then DNS. Then later on, I'm going to show you how we can able to configure ESXi. Okay. So today just we'll finish with uh, you know the basic uh, lab setup. Okay, so why because this is not uh, only one part. Okay. So tomorrow also we are going to continue. So tomorrow what I'll do? So tomorrow session I'm going to show you first like how to install Active Directory. Okay. That means in your Windows Server how we can able to install Active Directory and you know the machine where you install ESXi. So we we try to install one more ESXi. We can install one more and we we are going to configure this ESXi and we are going to manage this ESXi with the help of some method. So that method we are going to. Okay. <coughs> so today, the actual part we have done that is installation of ESXi. Okay. So any doubt you can ask.